Well, hi, kiddos. Mayor Craig here today to uh, read to you. I've been uh, missing you all. Doesn't mean you have to miss me, but I miss being in our schools with all the kiddos and uh, reading and visiting and talking about being safe in our community, being good, responsible young men and women in our town. Uh, I have a book to read. It's a book that was given me by the principal and assistant principal at the Einstein School. So I'm happy to read it. I think it's appropriate today. And the book is, What Do You Do With a Problem? And it's written by Kobe Yamata. And it's a, a great little book. And uh, I'm going to read this because I, I think I, it's kind of a special book. And, and I've enjoyed it. And uh, it kind of talks about, I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. And the young, the young person here, you see that cloud is over his head. And he's trying to think, what am I going to do with this problem? I didn't ask for it, but there it is. I got to deal with it somehow, but maybe, maybe... I can get rid of it. But why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem, I thought. I want to make it go away. I shoot it. I scalded it. I even tried ignoring it. But nothing, nothing worked. So he's chewing it and he's scaring the birds away. All kinds of issues. And the cloud, that cloud seems to be growing. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? Well, there it is. That dark cloud is hanging over his head. And the birds are flying. And everybody's going, this problem is getting bigger. I don't know what to think. So, with a little luck, I'll get the page turned. And, um, goodness. But what if my problem sneaks up and gets me? I don't want to be gotten. I don't want to be gotten by a problem. Can it sneak up and get me? I guess, maybe. What if it takes away all my things? Well, I got special things. I've been saving them. This cloud is getting bigger and I want to protect my things. My thing, I got robots, I got friends, I got dollies, I got all kinds of stuff that I've been saving. Those are my things. What if it takes away my things? I'm clutching my head. I'm rubbing my eyes. You see, I'm distressed. I'm wearing out. I worry a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and I worried about that. Worry, 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 worry. Oh my goodness. You see, I'm rubbing my eyes. I'm worried. I don't even want to face it. It's got to go away disappear there. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem got. Look at this cloud is getting bigger and bigger. It's enveloping. I'm on my knees. This problem is a problem. What am I going to do? Goodness gracious. Soon I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, but it still found me. I was trying to hide from that problem. But that problem kept getting bigger and bigger and darker. It was like a big storm over my head. And the more I avoided the problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good at all. I was feeling pretty, pretty unhappy. Look at that, it's blowing my umbrella inside out. This problem, it's taking control of my life. I couldn't take it anymore. This has got to stop. I declared enough of this problem. Maybe I was making the problem bigger and scarier. And then it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed it up or attacked me. I was just living with this problem and it was getting uglier. But I'm going to take control. 
How does he do that, I wonder? Turn the page. I realized I had to face it head on. Okay, problem, you and me. What are we going to do? I got my things together and I started thinking about it. How am I going to solve this problem? I wasn't getting any help. And so I took a run and look at this. You see that problem cloud? I jumped right in the middle of it. And see, even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. Hmm. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it was something beautiful inside. Something beautiful inside? I tackled it, I ran and I jumped, and it had a beautiful inside. What was that beautiful thing? My problem, my problem held an opportunity, an opportunity for me to learn and to grow and to be brave and to do something. I'm taking charge of my problem. I'm not letting it take charge of me. And you know what? It showed me that it was important. It was important to look closely because some opportunities only come along once. One time, you get to solve that problem. Don't run from the problem. Solve it. Think about it. Give it some thought. Talk to your friends. Talk to your teacher. So now I see problems differently. I do. The problem is not afraid of them anymore because I know their secret. And the secret to every problem is within there is a golden light. The light of opportunity to learn something good and just to have a good look at it. So I want to thank you for listening to my story. I want to thank the teachers that shared this with me and my opportunity for you to listen, to be responsible, to be respectful, and to be safe. And today, I'm also going to ask you to wash your hands and be careful. Thank you very much. You have a great day. I love this story.